This is Seminary Wolfrod, and welcome back to the eighth episode of Following Christ's Footsteps. Last week, if you recall, I spoke about the Didache, written between the years 90 and 100 AD. This week, I'd like to make reference to another ancient Christian document dating back to 96 AD, known as Clement's First Letter. Though the actual letter has an anonymous author, tradition holds that Clement, the third bishop of Rome, or the fourth pope, including Peter, wrote this letter addressing it to the Corinthians, the early church. Now the purpose of this letter was to suppress a revolt held by young, young people in Corinth who had successfully taken over the ruling of the priests. In the letter, Clement discusses and makes reference to how the faithful should come together weekly to celebrate what we now call the Holy Eucharist. Let's take a look at his writing. Clement writes, We too, then, should gather together for worship in concord and mutual trust, and earnestly beseech Him, as it were with one mouth, that we may share in His great and glorious promises. Now though Clement doesn't directly say the word Eucharist, or even Mass, we know through tradition and through other references in this work that Clement was indeed referring to the Holy Mass, where early Christians, and of course Christians even today, come together in worship of our Lord and receive the gift of Christ's body, blood, soul, and divinity. So here we have another occurrence of reference to the Holy Eucharist by Clement, the third bishop of Rome. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I look forward to again discussing different references of the Holy Eucharist. Please tune in next Tuesday to take another look at following Christ's footsteps. Thank you so much, and God bless you.